हेलो एंड वेलकम ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड ऑफ यूट्यूब एट योर ओन चैनल लिट ई सिटी फ्रेंड्स इस सीरीज के अंदर हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे साइटेशन मेथड्स को देखिए वीडियो स्टार्ट करने से पहले मैं अपने एक सब्सक्राइबर फ्रेंड को थैंक्स बोलना चाहूँगा जिन्होंने प्रोनाउंसिएशन से रिलेटेड एक मिस्टेक मेरी पकड़ी और मुझे बताया दैट इन द लास्ट वीडियो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज आई प्रोनाउंस दिस वर्ड as citation which is actually uh, incorrect pronunciation i thanks once i thank once again my dear friend for rectifying this error okay friends uh, so it's a very informative video about the citation styles and we discussed some important citation styles in this particular video we are going to discuss some more styles citation styles but most importantly we will discuss the very important one for students of literature that is mla citation styles my dear friends mla citation uh, the knowledge uh, of this particular style is important not only from our examination point of view if you are a research scholar and if you are already pursuing your phd then you must be aware of this technique mla introduces some new concepts some new formats and we must update ourselves regarding this style so all of you who are uh, thinking of doing research all of you are who are at present uh, studying research methodology i uh, share this lesson with all of you ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर लेसन टुडे कुछ और स्टाइल्स के पहले हम बात कर लेते हैं जो हमारा उस दिन रह गया था द नेक्स्ट स्टाइल ऑफ साइटेशन इज शिकागो मैनुअल स्टाइल्स डियर फ्रेंड्स इट इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग एंड साइटेशन स्टाइल इन यूएस ओके इट बिगिन इन 1906 ओस विद द पब्लिकेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट शिकागो स्टाइल गाइड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टाइल वेन देयर इज इन टेक्सट साइटेशन इट यूज इज ओनली दर्स लास्ट नेम डेट ऑफ पब्लिकेशन अ कॉमा एंड पेज नंबर एंड ऑल दिस इज इन पैरेंथिस सो दिस इज जस्ट इन टेक्सट साइटेशन वी हैव द लास्ट नेम ऑफ दर वी हैव द डेट ऑफ पब्लिकेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्क एंड वी हैव द पेज नंबर फ्रॉम देयर दिस पर्टिकुलर साइटेशन is taken at the end of the paper detailed citation it follows the same style as that of mla and apa so chicago manual style is all about in text citation hamare pehle video ke andar we have discussed this in detail what is in text citation and how it is different from uh, reference list or the detailed citation okay moving ahead let's talk about elements of a style friends it's not a topic name of the topic it's not it is also a name of a particular format used for citation it is basically an american english writing style guide it was originally composed by william strong junior in 1918 E.B. White, he is very popular name when we talk about these uh, kind of formats. E.B. White enlarged and revised the book for publication by Macmillan in 1959. Nine. Okay, look at the preciseness of this style. It has just eight elementary rules of usage, ten principles of composition, a list of forty-nine words and expressions commonly misused. and a list of 57 words often misspelled so it is all about these minor these basic requirements these rudimentary facts jinke dwara a writer or a research scholar uh, can correct his or her uh, citations 
okay moving forward one another format hart's rule now what is hart's rules it is an authoritative reference book and style guide it is published in england by oup or oxford university press so it is the official uh, citation format or citation guide uh, by published by the oxford university press they were originally used as a concise style guide for the staff of the Oxford University Press and it was later published in 1904 so initially it was basically used by all those editors collectors writers at the press and then they make it a particular format and they, they this particular format these particular rules are used as a source for authoritative instructions on type setting style grammar punctuation and uses obviously we can understand if it came from a beam of like uh, oxford university press it has a reputation of its own okay friends now we come to two most important uh, citation methods the first one is cmos or turbian style uh, the full form of which is the chicago manual of style in brief which is known as cmos and quite similar to that in fact a part of it is also known as turabian style now chicago and turabian both are published and maintained by the university of chicago press cmos is aimed at professional scholars and publishers while turabian is aimed at students who are writing papers theses dissertations that are not intended for publication this is the basic difference between these two while the cmos is on the advanced level it is meant for the professionals uh, turabian style is for the novices for the research scholars who are just to under who have just under taken a particular uh, project okay uh, cmos and turabian they have two different methods for documenting sources okay they we can document a source either in cmos or in turabian in two manners the first is the author date system and the second is the notes bibliography system or nb system author date uses parenthetical citation in the text to reference the source author last name and year of publication okay this is just like chicago uh, style which we have uh, read in the first slide of the day we use only the last name of the author and we use only year of publication these two information are used in the author date system while notes bibliography system it is the extended one where we have name in the reverse gladwell malcolm then we have the title then we have the place of publication then we have the name of publication company then we have name of the uh, publication year and then in the end we have uh, the page number from where the uh, context from where the reference is taken it is almost similar to the mla style which we are now going to study okay uh, friends uh, with uh, this we come to our most important part of citation format i am going to talk about mla style in detail and i request you all uh, to study it to read about it because it is going to help you in all your research paper your projects your thesis uh, your phd and even uh, if you are pursuing any course related with research methodology it is a must part so what is mla style my dear friends mla means modern language association style mla stands for modern language association it is an academic style guide published by the modern language association of america since 1985 at present we are uh, uh, we have eighth edition of mla style and in each editions there are some uh, minor changes 
changes, some ma major changes, some innovative changes, uh, whatever is, uh, what according to the need of the time, uh, they adapt some particular changes. MLA style is most commonly used to cite sources within the language arts, cultural studies and other humanities disciplines. So we can understand its value, its significance for the students of literature because most of the literature is cited in this particular format. We should have obviously in-depth knowledge of citation format according to the MLA style. Okay, most important information is coming here. What, uh, what are the points? What are the core elements that are included in MLA format. My dear friends, here I would like to point out these nine elements they are the core elements apart from these they we can have some other elements but these are the core elements one more important thing it is not necessary that all these core elements should be there in the citation format uh, some of them may be there and some of them are not necessary but these are uh, there are rules regarding these nine core elements the first one being author the second is title of the source the third one is title of container uh, other contributors version number publisher publication date and location here most important thing to remember is the major difference between MLA 7 and MLA 8 is that now there is no need to mention the place of publication. If you want to mention you can but it is not uh, the essential part of the uh, citation format. Okay, let's uh, talk one by one about these things how they are mentioned. First let's talk about the author. The first entry is of the author. It is put in reverse name order. Reverse name order, which it is basically author's last name is first written and then it is followed by a comma and the rest of the name is presented in the work. For example, Baba. Uh, you can see there is a comma here. Uh, these are somehow misplaced. Then we have Homi K and then there is a dot. So uh, you can see instead of writing Homi K Baba, we are writing Baba comma Homi K. And uh, if there are two authors, you uh, just give uh, this location of culture rule 1994. We will talk about it later in other entries. If there are two authors, the first name is in reverse order and the second name is in normal order. This is another important point. If there are two authors, the first one, for example, Michelle Doris, it is mentioned as first it is Doris, then it is Michelle. But Louis Adrich, it is mentioned in the normal, in the typical manner, the first name first Louis and then second uh, Adrich. Okay, uh, another important thing regarding the author is if there are three or more authors, the name of the first author is in inverted author and in the place of all other authors, we use et al. Okay, et al means uh, it is basically a French abbreviation which means and others. So, Marsot Michel, Michel Marsot, Marsot Michel. And please remember this particular comma which is which we use after the uh, first entry that is the last name of the author. Uske baad comma, Michel and then we use et al which means there are other authors also. And uh, MLA uh, considers not only books but also films and recordings, performance, uh, uh, arts, they are also considered as text and if film, television and other medias uh, we have to cite, then we the person which is most relevant to the reference, we should consider it as the author of that particular media. This could be a writer, a director or even an actor or performer. For example, and when uh, we also mention the role that particular author is doing. For example, Johansson Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson 
person a famous uh, hollywood performer artist heroine so we uh, to mention her film under the skin directed by jonathan glazer but as performer we mention jonathan then comma and then scarlet okay moving ahead um, if uh, we are talking about the title of the source title of the source is put into italics uh, case titles of books plays films periodicals database and websites they all are italicized if we look at our first entry once again bhaba comma homi k full stop the location of culture it is the title of the source and this is always in the italic case okay if there is a subtitle along with the main title we should separate the both with a colon sign okay here you uh, look at this entry nasser silvia once again you can see nasser comma silvia dot then we have a beautiful mind the life of mathematical genius and noble laureate john nash okay here you can see that we have uh, one uh, title a beautiful mind it should be in italics then it is the subtitle the life of mathematical genius and noble laureate john nash it should be used after a colon sign so it is uh, related with title of the source if we talk about title of container no first let us understand what do we mean by container container are basically larger holes in which the main source is located if we cite a poem from an anthology okay so there is an anthology which is a collection of poem and we are only referring to one particular poem then the individual poem is the source which we have talked about in the last slide while the anthology is the container and if we want to mention these both things then uh, look a uh, container can be a collection of stories poems essays a periodical that may contain articles creative writing a website that contains postings articles all these are containers so if we have both uh, the source title and the container title then source title is in the plain case while the containers title is in the italics case this is the uh, important fact कहने का मतलब यह है कि अगर हम सिर्फ एक टाइटल का यूज कर रहे हैं सोर्स टाइटल का इट इज इन इटैलिक्स इफ वी आर यूजिंग बोथ द टाइटल ऑफ द सोर्स एंड द कंटेनर टाइटल तब कंटेनर का टाइटल है इटैलिक केस के अंदर और जो सोर्स टाइटल है वो नॉर्मल आएगा यू कैन लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल बैक्सिन कॉमा पैट्रिक दैट इज नेम इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर फुल स्टॉप Towards meta reading, they are always in inverted comma. तब जो source title है it will it will come in inverted comma. इसको हमेशा inverted comma में रखेंगे full stop. The future of the book. This is the name of the container. जिसमें से towards meta reading ये article हमने cite किया है. So the future of the book it comes in the italic case. Okay. So uh, title तक हमारी बात clear हो चुकी कि है ऑथर नेम इट इज इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर फर्स्ट वी यूज लास्ट नेम फिर कॉमा फिर मेन नेम फिर फुल स्टॉप फिर देन सोर्स टाइटल इफ देर इज ऑनली सोर्स टाइटल इट इज इन इटैलिक केस इफ देर इज सोर्स टाइटल एंड कंटेनर टाइटल द सोर्स टाइटल इज इन इनवर्टेड कॉमा एंड सिंपल केस देन वी यूज द कंटेनर टाइटल दैट इज इन इटैलिक केस ओके आगे बढ़े अगर हम अदर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स इन एडिशन टू दी author there may be an editor illustrator translator and we have to mention these also they are mentioned after the title and the container uh, you got my point that first we will use the name of the author okay then we will then we will use uh, the title of the book uh, for example here it is madness and civilization by michel foucault a history of insanity in the age of reason there is a full stop it is in italics there is no container but the book is translated so we use translated by richard howard this is uh, what i am talking about if there is some other contributor uh, other than 
and writer whether it is translator or editor we should mention it after the title and if there is a container after the container uh, you can here uh, look at this Beowulf here we do not have the name of uh, the author it is also a point if there is no author then we should start the MLS citation with directly with the title so Beowulf it is the title translated by Alan Sullivan and Timothy Murphy you can also see this that when we use other contributors they are in normal order there is no need to put them in reverse order you can uh, see Alan Sullivan Timothy Murphy they are in their simple manner so uh, we have now author then we have source title then we have container if there is an container and then if there are editor or if there are any uh, translator we mention them okay uh, here in this entry uh, you can look forward we have two contributors one is translators and then we have edited so both are mentioned after this entry then next entry is that of version or edition if the cited work is not the first edition if it is first edition there is no need to mention then if it is second third or any other number of edition then we have this information we have to cite this information regarding the uh, version or edition uh, this element begins with a capital letter if the preceding element ended with a period it's an obvious and we put a comma after this entry for example once again uh, the Bible obviously there is no particular author and it is it has a particular version authorized King James version you can see after Bible there is a dot that is why it started with a capital letter and after version there is a comma comma because it is not the format is not complete uh, once one more example crank j that is name in reverse order full stop the mathematics of diffusion name of the source title it is in italics full stop but we are talking about not first edition second edition and then edition ko short form mein likhne ki wajah se uska short aur uske baad ek comma so this is what we are talking about ke uh, jo version or edition if it is not the first one if there is no version then it's okay but agar hai to usko is tarah se mention karenge next is about numbers this may include volume number or issue number for journals articles serial number for books comic books and maybe television episode numbers if there is a, any information regarding such numbers it is placed after version and addition and uh, basically once again we use comma after this information for example Ram Prasad Arnold the life of Langston Hughes uh, you can see the title is in the italics there is a full stop second edition it is about the information regarding edition now volume 2 this is from the second volume Volume. second volume then there is comma second volume then addition <clears throat> this is basically information uh, chestnut it is basically name of an episode uh, taken from Westworld it is container directed by Richard J Lewis this is other contributor season 1 episode 2 it is number and then other information which we will discuss now after number we have publisher it is one of important core element Deekhi, sare element jo humne discuss kare for for example other contributors uh, uh, versions edition uh, containers they may or may not be there but uh, title author title and publi publisher these are some information which are always available uh, in almost all the cited uh, references the publisher is the organization who is responsible for the publication of the work it produces or distributes the source to the public if there are more than one publisher for the source they are separated by a forward slash this is an important information if there are two or more publisher we must uh, uh, distinguish between them by using this mark we use shortened forms of typical publisher name for example Oxford University Press 
O U P uh, or we can example we can use such element which are quite obvious. Uh, you can here see Harvey Paul and Margaret Drabble. Okay, they are two writers. John Keats. Then it is it is name of the source title which is in inverted comma. Then name of the container the Oxford Companion to English Literature. Then other contributed edited by Margaret Drabble revised edition information then oxford up u me p means university press and then there is comma similarly the big labovsky which is name of a movie then directed by joel coin performances by uh, jeff bridges and julian moore and after it uh, name of publisher polygram filmed entertainment and then there is a comma okay with this we come to our uh, second last uh, element publication date we can cite the year month and year or complete date which depends on the information available type of source and use of the source if there are multi dates available um, sometimes uh, we don't have one particular date the date which is most relevant to our use we should mention that particular once again if it is not the last item uh, we use a comma after it for example bush douglas you should follow this pattern river name in reverse mythology and the romantic tradition in english poetry then we have harvard university press and then year of publication 1969 uh, you can have one more uh, extended dickman kylie apocalypse in the garden state this is name of source title rolling stone this is name of container number Number two one two six zero. It is world number. Then five of May two thousand sixteen. It is basically uh, extended date, complete date. And with this, we come to the last uh, core element of MLA citation format: uh, location. This refers to the location of cited reference within a larger whole. Location can be page numbers, URLs, disk numbers, etc. For print sources, location is the page number or range of page numbers. For online sources, location is of URL for a DVD. We should use the disk number. And because it is the last element, we use a period after it. For example, Simpson David, Irony and Authority in Romantic Poetry. This is name of the title. Macmillan, name of the publisher. 1979, publication year, page 1 to 1. This is basically... Uh, last information Adiche Chimamanda Gozi on Monday of last week it is name of source title the thing around your neck it is name of container Alfred Knopf it is name of publisher 2009 it is name of publication year and pays range 74 to 94 and if we cite a physical object like some art piece then we should identify the place of location Mattis Henry uh, the painting swimming pool uh, 1952 may he displayed it museum of modern art and it is located at New York so friends it's a, such an extensive man bohati brief ke andar aapko ek summarize kara hai what are the core elements of a MA a citation and height how to cite whenever you are writing a research paper please remember ki ye jo rules hai and please make yourself uh, completely updated with these rules there are some minor changes every time a new publication comes and in uh, your competition exams it is bound to happen that some questions will be asked regarding these methods i hope you are enjoying these lessons please correct me when wherever you find fault in these lessons uh, so that I can rectify these faults in upcoming lessons and please give me suggestion on which particular topic you want me to make more videos. Thank you my dear friends.